When we're alone and isolated from others, it's easy for us to go to some dark places in our minds. Places of fear, mistrust, and anger. That's especially true during times of crisis such as the one we're living in right now. That's why some people are hoarding more than they need, causing supply shortages for folks who need groceries and other household essentials. That's why some people are thinking that the government is blowing this pandemic out of proportion and that we should go back to life as normal as soon as possible, even if that's against the advice of the medical community. That's why, as we're cooped up with our friends, loved ones, and roommates, we may be getting a little antsy and irritated with one another and thinking that they need to do something to make me feel better. Even if you're not taking part in any of these examples, chances are you've thought or felt something sinful about others as you've watched the COVID-19 pandemic unfold. While it's normal for us to go to these dark places when we're distressed, that normalcy doesn't make it right. After all, sinfulness is our default. And unless we confess our sins to God and ask Him to forgive us, we're allowing another virus to overtake our lives and lead us down the path to ruin. Thankfully, God is faithful to forgive and restore us when we take our sins to Him. After all, as we're reminded in 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 and 9, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. During these crazy days, don't isolate yourself from God. Continue seeking his face, sharing his love, and confessing your sins to him. For when you do, you're brought out of the darkness of distress and into the light of his love. So remember, God is faithful. God is love, and God will always forgive us when we confess our sins to him. May you experience that faithfulness and love today and always.